Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, uh, you saw in the earlier video, I uh, finished, uh, we were hauling cattle, hauled the cattle out to the pasture, uh, and uh, I seeded, or planted, seeded all the canola that I could, uh, it just got too late. I do have about one ton left of nitrogen that I'm going to spread out on the pasture. Uh, we're supposed to get some rain, uh, and I'll be, I'll, every time it rains, I, when I have some nitrogen left over like that, I uh, spread it on the pasture while it's raining, so it dissolves and goes straight in, so, uh, seems to work well that way. So I got probably the most I've ever had left over, because of that, I was supposed to use it in the field, but we'll be using it in the pasture, so, uh, yeah, I'll be unhooking this thing and hooking up the, the flexi coil sprayer to the MX120. Uh, yeah, some of you have uh, followed me on Instagram. Uh, I showed you guys a picture. And there it is. So we ended up buying this uh, MX210, this MX Magnum 210. Uh, struck a deal on it, used it a little, actually Sean used it a little bit, he was using the grapple to pick up a bale that was uh, undone, the twines were all undone on it, so that came in handy, just uh, picked it up and took it away, so yeah, uh, uh, they are going to, I have to take it in on Monday, they want to fix the air conditioning on it, it's not quite right, so they want to make sure it's working uh, right to its capacity and properly, so, yeah, I've driven it around a little bit, uh, took me a little time to get used to, but uh, this is your throttle, and this is how you change your gears, on the MX you have uh, 4 speed and for power shifts uh, on your gear shifter whereas uh, this one has no gear shifter it's just all right here your gears 1 through 12 I believe and shows it on the on the bar right there uh, here's your loader joystick uh, I kind of I am there is an adjustment right here where I'm gonna pull it back uh, if that doesn't feel right, I might do a little remodeling here and get it to come back a little bit. I don't mind it resting on the throttle like that. Uh, just if it was a little bit closer, maybe over here somewhere. I'll see how that feels. But, uh, yeah. I just wanted a little heavier loader tractor that has a heavier front end and a heavier rear end. This tractor has the same... Uh, Rear end and transmission, I believe, as the Magnum 7130 series, 7230, 8930. Uh, it's a lot heavier than uh, the smaller MXs. Uh, I believe the MX150 and 170 had those heavier rear ends on them too, which I, if I could have found one of those tractors, I probably would have bought one, but they are really, really hard to find. Uh, I did see two of them a couple years ago, and kind of kicking myself now but uh yeah so we'll see how this one works out uh we might put this tractor on the mower or the baler i'm not sure yet uh it has the big 1000 pto so actually this tractor was running a big baler big square baler a heston i believe so uh, it has the big uh, 1000 so it'll have to be reduced you can get a reducer and put them on there it's either that or uh, change the PTO to a big 1000 PTO on whatever implement we decide to put it on mosquitoes are biting me like crazy but yeah let's uh, fire it up for you guys here it's in park so. PSI oil pressure seems on the high side, but I'm not 
I'm not sure. I'm always used to about 60, the highest. It usually goes down after, but I have to keep an eye on that. I was reading the book trying to figure out all this diagnostic stuff down here. In hours. 4,600 hours. We did clean it up. I hate these seats though, because when you stain them, you cannot get the stains out. And uh, I'm going to try my uh, steam cleaner, but I wasn't 100% uh, happy with the cleaning job they did in here. I thought they could have done a little bit better. Uh, but I will, I will try and uh, one-up them. your throttle. But, uh, she drives nice. Uh, between 6th uh, and 7th gear you always have that split in the transmission and this one automatically uh, smooths it out. There's still like uh, the Magnum or 7120 has a big jump. Uh, the stagger has a big abrupt jump between 6 and 7. And this one they kind of smoothed it out. So, yeah, it's, uh, here's all your conditioning controls, air conditioning heater, whatever, whatnot. Uh, here's your uh, remotes. I'm not 100% sure what that button's for. Maybe uh, the farmer on Elm, uh, the farming life or uh, Elm Custom Harvesting can let me know what that is. That uh, looks like an automatic uh, right turn. Uh, that looks like an automatic turn. <laughs> I might sound stupid for saying that, but. Then you got your diff lock and your front wheel assist. I'm not 100% sure what that one's for. There's your PTO. No 3-point hitch like as we said before. There's your... Uh, that'd be for your 3-point hitch there. These are for your timing timer on your remotes and stuff like that. That's pressure, flow. Yeah, lots to learn yet. Uh, but yeah, I hope to, uh, hope to get my drone going for hang time. Uh, I was having trouble with my uh, GPS auto steer. Uh, something in the power cable is not right, so I'll have to be looking at that yet. Uh, we do have 600 acres of summer follow to work down, and then I'll be chem following it after that. Yeah, so uh, that's just a little update on the tractor. Kind of kept everybody in suspense. Ugh. Tires are pretty good. What size are these tires? 20.8 by 42. Actually, this is the, I think this is the first tractor that we've had with 42 inch high tires. We've always had 20.8 by uh, 38, 34, 18.4 by 38, 34s. Uh, the old Smokey had uh, weird, weird tires on it, really small, short fatties. 
yeah anyway that's the I'm running out of uh, room on my camera here but uh, that's the MX 210 and yeah we'll probably have it on the mower or the baler I haven't decided yet or maybe we'll just leave it and uh, we'll see anyways thanks for watching make sure you comment rate and subscribe and uh, yeah leave your comments let's hear what you got to say thanks for watching